Hello and welcome back to Half-Life 2 Episode 1, the Let's Play Blind. Right then, uh, apologies if I scared any of you with the beginning of a new Let's Play Blind, the Let's Play Blind of Legend of Grimrock. Uh, it's just because I've been watching some of my previous videos on the Half-Life series, considering that's the only Let's Play Blinds I've done so far. And I have to be honest with you, I've really noticed that at the beginning of my Let's Play Blinds, I'm generally pretty good, I'm pretty upbeat, pretty open, sort of, you know, approaching the game with an open mind and taking it as she comes and what have you, and no, that's not a joke for the internet, and generally having a good time. But then about the midpoint to the two-thirds point to maybe even the three-quarters point, I start to lose it a bit and I start to defocus and, I don't know, I start really nitpicking and jumping down the game's throat even though maybe it doesn't deserve it or doesn't need it. Uh, for various reasons, tiredness, short temper, short-sightedness, uh, difficult, you know, struggling with the game's difficulty curve because it's getting harder, and maybe even disappointing plot elements. Yes, I'm still a bit sore about Half-Life 2. I know, I know, I look back at some of my later videos and I have to be honest, I'm like, yeah, I, I definitely could have approached that with a much more clearer head. So... That's why I've started a new Let's Play Blind. It's just to try and separate it out a bit so that I'm not completely playing this all the time because I believe after a while, if you've been doing it, you know, in one lump, one large lump like I've been doing, or one large go even, or whatever the correct proverbial term is for us, you start to desensitise yourself to it a bit and you start not getting absorbed or immersed into the game as much. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but personally I thought, well, I was enjoying it. Uh, and then I've sort of lost it a bit and I want to enjoy it again because after that last section we did with the zombies and you know underground with all the lights out and us having to use the torch and using Alex's aid to help us fight the zombies because I had very few ammo left in my guns or very little ammo left in my guns I think is the correct term for that because I'm stupid and careless and keep blasting boxes with bullets instead of the gravity gun or other more conventional non-bullet means uh, it turned out to be a pretty good section alex really did prove her weight she really did prove how worthwhile she is as a character in this game yes i still get annoyed with the cheesy characteristics but you know she really came through the ai was good for her she really did a bit the only bit that i question is the whole grenade blowing up in her face and she not dying thing but it's just game logic so i'm not going to be I keep I keep raising it, but it, it doesn't matter really, does it? I'm just nitpicking there. But other than that, it was a good section. I like the atmosphere. The, the 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 zombies in the dark was good. The atmosphere was good. It was generally creepy. And also, I liked the big showdown at the end when we were waiting for the lift and all the zombies were coming in. The suicide zombies. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was a good, fun section that sort of changed the pace and atmosphere and tone of the game a little bit. It was good. Right then. Anyway, I've been putting this off for too long now, so let us finally turn this valve and. Uh, I am cranking it. I'm cranking it as fast as I can, Alex. Okay, let's get to the train yard before the citadel blows. Good plan. Only this time, please don't say if we do find a train and get on the train that everything's going to be all right. I know Hidden Windshield jumped at me on this one by saying uh, I made the comment that it's a universal truth that you know, saying oh everything's going to be great or I hope nothing bad happens in some sort of context or another usually means that you've jinxed whatever journey or whatever process you're in the middle of that was before you said that probably going to be okay but now is inevitably going to go wrong because you had to challenge fate or murphy's law or whatever it is that governs the universe's progress and uh, i was kind of half joking about that really but i think i said it a bit too seriously so if any of you were confused by that statement i actually do generally believe although from a superstitious irrational point of view it is fresh air well I call it fresh air uh, yeah, they did actually. Ooh, it's Dr. Kleiner! Well, I can take a mind off it. Right. Have you suddenly appointed yourself leader? We will have to content ourselves with some relatively meager exposition. The okay. destabilization of the City 17 reactor has had repercussions that were not entirely unexpected. Although we hardly dared speak this hope ahead of time, the destructive pulse forced a damper on the entire network of linked Citadel reactors. Thus, EMP for the time pulse, being, maybe? I believe that all combined portals have failed completely, as well as all communications systems based on this technology. That's a good thing, short, isn't it? The combine are completely cut off. Combine forces currently stationed on Earth are now isolated units. 
Stranded. Hooray! Well, that's good. However, we can deal with them, can't this we? Is most likely a temporary state of affairs. Oh. As we once learned to our dismay, even the relatively tiny fracture at Black Mesa gave our enemies an opening which they were able to force ever wider as they poured through in greater and greater numbers. Oh, that's how they got here. In completely xenophoric species, there are many modified post-human allies still remaining on Earth who will be doing their utmost to re-establish lines of communication and supply with the larger forces. Is that the stalkers? Even so, there is greater and reason other convoy for soldiers. now than at any time in the past decade. We have made, in secret, several technological advances which we will do our best to deploy in advance of the Combine's return. Okay. We continue to diligently assemble and train a new generation of scientists and technicians. Please don't base them on me. The base them on the Alex. Is not any then you'll be fine. Human weapon, but our will our intellect, our ability to respond selectively and rationally to every terror they turn against us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that does spirit, not include me. <laughs> even knowing how easily it may be shattered, we have all seen friends and family crushed by the Combine. Some well, I've seen pe certain people get bashed in the head a few times, but I don't know about crushed. I'll take you for by the military machine. And those who resisted have met a most terrible fate. Yes, they were either killed or turned Still, into stalkers. I cannot overstate how important it's quite it terrible. Is that we Still, they lost weight, humanity. though. I mean, everybody Only wants to lose this weight. Will allow us to hold together as we must for their inevitable return and what is certain to be unimaginable retaliation. Well, thanks for putting a dampener on things. You've and already no, had the bloody uh, reactor do that on a physical level. Now you're doing it on an emotional level. No point in looping it any longer. I apologize for any inadvertent errors or omissions. As you can imagine, we have had scarcely time to record, let alone rehearse. What's that, Eli? Oh, right. This has been Dr. Isaac Kleiner, formerly of Black Mesa, now simply a citizen, like all of you of Earth. Yeah, but you still hold a doctorate, so you are. Add you're you're still a doctor, that's you can hear me now, that is important. As we struggle out of the shadow of our malefactors, welcome back to the light. Well, don't know about you, it's a bit dark out here, but no, it's than what it is underneath. Later. Right, well, thank you, Dr. Kleiner. Thank you for briefing us all on that. That's pretty cool. I guess that message will loop back in a bit. But, um... Yeah. Wait, how did you get back? He was at a... He was in another dimension from the teleporter thing. How did you get him back? Yes. Very well. I... I am not much of a public speaker. Wait, you did a pretty good I'll... job back... Th oh, wait, this is the loop message, isn't it? Okay, well... Um, citizens, of City I think I'll leave it at that. I was going to listen to that bit till the end of the message, but I don't know. It'll just be introducing the situation and how bad it all is. Um, right. Okay, well, at least Dr. Kleiner's being cool and doing the right thing by using what he can to communicate to the survivors of City 17 to um, try and get them to escape and flee City 17 because it's going to explode. Uh, and yeah, plenty of survivors around here. Absolutely loads. So yeah, wonderful. Right, anyway, sorry, I'm being sarcastic and horrible. Right, we need to continue. Where do we go? Good question. I don't know. Maybe this way. Well, it's dead combine corpses over here. Another dead combine corpse there. Yeah, here we go. Lovely jubbly. Aha! Pistol bullets too. Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Probably us. What was? All I just saw was just. All I heard was a humming noise and then something coming down from the heavens and big white flash and they took my photograph, didn't they? They got my five bucks, didn't they? Oh, for God's sake. Guys, you've been defeated. Why do you still want my five dollars? You're not having it. I gave you one opportunity to have it when you could have taken a picture of my corpse and what did you do? You just floated away. Didn't care. And now a piece of wood panelling has hurt me because it didn't like being gravity gunned in the butt. Well, everything's just great now, isn't it? I'm so happy to be alive and in the light. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, oh, uh, guns, guns, guns. Pistol will have to do. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, submachine gun. Yay. Like the submachine gun. It's not as powerful as it could be, but... Oh, right up bullets. Oh, well. <laughs> Probably because I was about to diss it a bit. It was like, oh, fine, you don't like me then. Fine, I'll run out of bullets then. I'm like, oh no, please don't do that submachine gun. Please don't run out of bullets, I'm sorry. It's only because you don't really pack much of a punch, but you're still cool to fire. I mean, you pack a punch in terms of firing, but your bullets and stopping power is 
one to be desired, but you are a submachine gun. I suppose I can forgive you for it. The submachine guns are like, oh, I still don't like you very much. I'm probably going to run out of bullets on you in a future point in time, but I'll forgive you for now. And I'm like, yay, the submachine gun forgave me. Woot! Right, so we need to go this way. Preferably without dying or being crushed. I think we did that. Come on, you. Oh, hello, a survivor. Hello. Here, have a oh no, not the... Oh, God, what happened to my thing? I had a thing. I had a thing that tamed them. They were all my allies and friends. I had drugs, basically. What happened to my drugs? Probably lost them when I got caught by uh, Green early, I guess. Oh. I not what he did with them. Or maybe I dropped it out of my pocket or something. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, they didn't. Oh, it's another hole, isn't it? Oh, I've got to block it up with the car. Righto, you just keep at it, guys. I'll, um... Um, ah, here we go. Just keep at it. I'll, I'll block the hole up. So that's, I'm pretty good at doing that. I'm pretty good at blocking holes up. If I say so myself. I'm pretty good at digging them as well. But I can block them. There we go. That's one blocked. Now then, where's the other one? Ah, it's over there. Conveniently enough, there's a car right in front of it. Come on, car. Have a new lease of life. Once you were a transportation hub, to help the civilians get across from A to B to how you are blocking holes. It's okay, isn't it, having a change of career? It's pretty good, isn't it? How do you like it? Your silence says it all. He's loving it, really. All cars like to block holes. Right, so let's go and block another one then. I think there's, there's some more over there. Oh no, combine! That's not good. Oh, well, the antline. Okay, no, 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 don't come near me, antline. Oh no, combine, no, 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 no. Does that work? Is that okay? I think that's okay. Good job sealing the burrows. Yeah, well, good job killing all the, the... the Oh no, the medic! Wait, where's the medic guy gone? The medic girl, even. Medic girl, come over here, come with us! Please, I need you, I need your health kits and everything. Medic girl. Come mit uns. That's not really German, but still, if it was, it would be good German. Come mit uns! Now you're just gonna panic and bug out a little bit, maybe. Oh, you settled. I think. Oh, all right, well, be safe, medical girl. It's probably best that you don't follow us, because I tend to get us into trouble anyway. Like I said, I'm not a very good leader, actually, so... I'm glad that my message went across to all the survivors in the end, or at least my, uh... No, they all died, didn't they? Yep, no, the survivors managed to pick up the message. Good for you. Good, good. Well done. Right, which way do we go now? Uh, I assume this way. Oh, no! I... Oh, I was trying to shoot the gravity gun. Trying to blow up the... Boom, boom, boom! Boom! Oops. <laughs> oh. Who wrote... Did you open that, Alex? I'll cover the street while you figure this out. Well, I've set fire to the building. Then. What else needs to be figured out about that? Okay. Maybe maybe that's all that is needed to be figured out. I don't know. Well, I think the fire's going out. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Fire! Boom! Right, I need to get up there though. Oh, oh, I've got the gravity gun. What am I, what am I doing? I've got the gravity gun. No, I don't want that. That. Give me that. Yay. Anything else? Anything of use? Probably, but I can't see you. Never mind. I'll continue onwards. Right, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I'll just walk along these pipes and hope nothing get. Hope nothing gets me. Oh wait, is this another physics puzzle? Is it? I think it is. Ooh, lovely physics puzzles, because Valve liked them in the first game, and I have to admit, I liked them in the first game, they were pretty cool. So it decided to recycle it. Why the hell not? I'm not quite sure, though, if these objects are going to hold my weight, but it's worth a shot. No, I didn't think so. We need something a bit heavier, like this rock! There you go, rock. Will you work? Well, sort of. It's moments, isn't it? This is all moments, this is. There's the pivot. It's that little bit of rock that the... Uh, pipes are balancing on and then uh, a weight times the distance from the pivot here has to equal for this to balance a weight times the distance here however it all varies depending on how much weight you put on and how far away from the pivot you put it on that's moments for you uh, I forget the equation what's the equation f times m or f times l even force times length equals moments and if you have to, uh, a pivot system like that uh, anti-clockwise moments equals clockwise moments 
So basically, you can make the weight and the distance on one side equal another weight and another distance on the other side. They balance out, basically. As long as both sides of the equation are the same quantity, it doesn't really matter how you come across it, it'll balance. Uh, then you've got a perfectly good seesaw. Yeah, seesaws are pretty cool, actually. One of my favourite aspects of physics. It's quite simple, but I like it. Probably because it was simple. Everything else is just so bloody complicated, but interesting, though. But very complicated. Do, 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 do. It's not working, is it? We need more weights. I haven't got any more weight though, that's the problem. See, the further back you put it, the, the more of a moment you have. But there is no more weight, unless... Ah, wait, hang on. Ah, maybe that's what's... Ah, maybe that was what was causing the problem. Alright, maybe, maybe this will work. Dun, 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 dun. No, it's still not working. I think we need more rocks. If there are any more rocks. I don't think there are though. Oh, got shotgun shells though, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, hang on, can we pick up those bits over there? Where's Alex gone? Alex, where'd you go? Alex? You're doing something scary again, just because I can't shoot you and you survive grenade blasts. Oh, you're out there covering us. Oh, okay, I'll let you off. Hmm, this is a tricky puzzle because, well, it's, it's quite a straightforward puzzle, but we need weights, which we don't currently have. There must be something around here that can help us. Oh, sh sh quiet you down there. Ah, bin. Ah, bin might work. I don't know. Maybe. I need something heavier, though. Ah, you'll do. It oh, the gravity gun doesn't work on humans. Damn it. Okay. Maybe I'm overcomplicating this. I think I am. I'll take the bin. Maybe the bin will work. We shall use the bin. Wait, where's the bin gone? There you are, bin. Let us use you. You should be heavy enough. Quiet down there, Jesus. Are you desperate to come out of the hole? No, that's not another joke for the internet. Actually, it'd be quite disgusting if you did that. I think it'd be disnally wrong as well if you did, I think. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Or you can look it up if you're of age. Right, now hopefully that'll work. No, it's still not working. Hmm. Perhaps we might have to move it a bit closer, maybe? That surely wouldn't work. Oh, no, maybe that would work, actually, thinking about it. I think I was right about moments before, but I think, actually, the closer you bring it to the pivot, the harder it is to turn it. I think. Yeah, I think what I've done is... I've, yeah, I think that's the problem. I was putting it... That should keep it a bit more... St no, it's still not working. There's nothing else to... There's nothing else to put on, though. We need something really heavy. That's very strange. I, surely I'm not overcomplicating... Surely I'm overcomplicating this. Does it really need this extra chair? Well, that's extra weight, I suppose. Surely, surely it can't be that complicated. It really is, isn't it? I, I... Oh, hang on, I've got sprint. Hold on a minute. Oh, poop, that didn't work. I'll try again. Alright. Go, 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 go! Ah, no, it doesn't work, because when you sprint, you don't, you don't jump as high. Well, that's no good. Unless I'm supposed to get... I don't, um, maybe I, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really confused now. Ah, that's what we're supposed to do. Use the ledge here to our advantage. Perhaps, maybe. Oh, I don't know. If it works. Don't, oh, I keep getting caught, though. Blast it. Let's try again. It's probably not the right way to do it, but... Uh, oh, oh, so close. Oh, come on. I need to pause the video in a second. Oh, come on. All right, reset yourself. Um, tally ho! Ah. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll pause the recording and then I'll cut back to when I've actually got up there. Again, this probably isn't the correct way to do it, but I'll go with it. It's the closest we're going to get.